Hey y'all, this is Kevin Giraldo once again with Corpo de Terra Manual Massage Therapy, connecting with you to talk about these Zoot shoes again. I did a review about the blue ones, that those ASICs are pretty, but they don't work for me. As you know, I'm all about protecting my feet. Today I'm wearing my jacks because it's the holidays, but these Zoots have been really good to me as the blue ones were, same model same ones just different color great remember great pt i once knew said you have to know how the inside is doing make sure it's well padded because on the outside it could look pretty but the outs inside um not so stable and that's what's happening with these these are my old pair just like the blue ones these are my old pair i take very good care of them another good thing why they're in great shape is that Zoot dries really fast. Uh, these are a lot like the Bowerman series, the Nike Bowermans from the early 2000s and the New Balance. I used to buy them for like 50 bucks at Finish Line. That no longer exists, that $50 spot. And if it, it does, I haven't found any good shoes on that. But these shoes are exactly like those. The only difference, which is better from these Zoots, is the the salt doesn't collect as much as those other shoes. These shoes lasted me about 250 miles. Um, I have, this video is exactly like the last one, uh, blue with blue, and I bought red and red. And this is the second pair. No, I'm sorry, this is like the sixth pair, but this is the other pair of reds I have. And my last, oh no, what am I gonna do? I hope there's more. But this model has worked really well for me. And again, the salt doesn't collect, which means it wicks off pretty fast. Uh, I've never washed these. It's just remarkable. It's a, it's a remarkable shoe, especially for the price. Uh, born in Kona, raised in California. Right there, you will read the, the genius artist who uh, made this made this uh possible um very simple shoe there's pretty much nothing else much to say more than what i said before the cushioning's great the stabilization's amazing <clears throat> uh, some of us some of us pronate some of us have inversion eversion uh heel strikers this balances your foot i mean the hands down, uh, and, and, you know, and runners, uh, you know, even dragon will tell you that, um, uh, you know, you, you have to protect your feet and just use your running shoes for running. That's it. Don't go to the store with them. That may be during a run. Okay. We want to go to the store, but once you get home, take them off take them off, loosen the laces, and that's lasted for me because one of the most concerns I found, and I right now I was battling a glute uh, pain that went uh, uh, towards the inside of my groin, the left groin, and then affecting the quads. Um, and eventually, of course, my, I started feeling on my feet, but it could have started in the feet. And <clears throat> it could have been these shoes because it's already at 250 miles but more than as the shoe starts getting worn as the nylon starts stretches that that salt starts starts to just break things down and the cushion down we tend us runners and active people tend to tighten these more because our foot may feel a little loose knock it off because what what happens is that the foot the the foot starts going over the sole like if i were to run right now you could see the sole right now but as soon as i put these shoes on this is what happens which can lead to just rolling your foot and over inversion right basically so you're inverting your foot and you're just going to damage all those tendons those ligaments and then of course your legs your knees so I, I've been, I've been nursing it, and yesterday I just went out for a short run, and yeah, you know, I tend to not over tight, but just enough that it starts affecting the tendons at the dorsal part of the foot, and then everything rises, which is what I think was going on 
So, um, <coughs> so yeah, great shoot. Those Asics lasted me about 50 miles. They're pretty. Usually I like Asics, but, uh, but no, you can't. Once, once I bought these, I bought, I bought a good six or seven pair. And, uh, this is my last pair, um, that I'm going to bust out right now. And I'm very excited. I woke up at 4.50, uh, to get some miles in. Um, it's been about... 10 days since I had a decent run. Yesterday was pretty good, but uh, I'm very excited to try out these, these, uh, these shoes. Like, they're just amazing. All right. Happy running. Stay safe. Protect your feet. Uh, wear socks. Lube them up at night. Then wear socks. Whatever method you have, keep those feet good because all that pain rises. All right. Take care, y'all.